Hi, welcome back to Storytime with Gigi. Today our story is called Pretzel by Margaret Ray. One morning in May, five little dachshunds were born. How cute. One of them was Pretzel. They grew up the way puppies do, and they all looked exactly alike the first few weeks. Here's Pretzel, Percival, Priscilla, Patricia, and Paul. Looks like there's three boys and two girls. But after nine weeks, Pretzel suddenly started growing and growing and growing. He grew much longer than any of his brothers and sisters. Look at Pretzel. And when he was fully grown, he had become the longest dachshund in all the world. Pretzel was very pleased with himself because it is very distinguished for a dachshund to be so long. He looks happy with himself, doesn't he? When he was one year old, a dachshund is grown up at that age. He won the blue ribbon at the dog show, which means that everybody considered him to be the best looking dog of all. He won a prize. All the dogs admired him, and all the people admired him. Only Greta didn't. She's looking away like, hmm. Greta was the little dachshund from across the street. Pretzel was in love with her and wanted to marry her. There's Greta. Poor Pretzel. But Greta just laughed at him. I don't care for long dogs, she said. But it is very distinguished for a dachshund to be so long, and I won the blue ribbon at the dog show, said Pretzel. I still don't care, said Greta. Pretzel was hurt, but he did not show it. Please marry me, he said, and I will do anything for you. Prove it, said Greta, and went away. So Pretzel set out to prove it. First, he brought Greta a nice big bone. Thanks for the bone, said Greta, but I won't marry you for that. I don't care for long dogs. And she ate the bone and forgot about Pretzel. Greta doesn't sound like she's very nice. Pretzel had to try something else. He gave her the lovely green rubber ball he had been given for his birthday. Thank you, said Greta. But I still won't marry you because I don't care for long dogs. Besides, everybody can give presents. And she ran away with the ball. Oh, my. Poor pretzel. Look what I can do. Nobody except me can do that, said pretzel when they met again. And this is what he did. Not bad, said Greta. Your name certainly fits you, but I like the pretzels at the baker's better, and I still don't care for long dogs. Pretzel was very unhappy. Oh, poor Pretzel. Some weeks had passed, and Greta hadn't even spoken to Pretzel. One day, while she was playing with her green ball, it bounced away. Greta tried to catch it, and boomps! They both landed in a hole. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And it says a sign, danger, man at work, but I don't think you know, dogs can't read. So, Greta tried to get out of the hole, but she couldn't. It was much too deep. She was terribly scared. If anybody came to save her, she might never, never 
Just then, Pretzel's face appeared over the edge of the hole. She's sad and crying. Look at that. I'll get you out of there, he shouted. He had watched Greta all the time and now had rushed to help her. How good that pretzel was so long. Look how happy she is. Look how happy he is. He's helping her. I know if I fell in the hole, I'd be very happy to whoever came to, for me. I believe you saved my life. You are wonderful, said Greta with a sigh. Will you marry me now, asked Pretzel. I will, said Greta, but not for your length. So they kissed each other. Aww. And got married. Look at all their dog friends coming to the wedding. And one morning in May, five little dachshunds were born. Aww. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Bye till next time.